Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this brand new 2024 Cedar Creek 371 FL fifth wall. This is a front living room, huge rear bathroom setup, kind of a couple's coach, a lot of outside storage. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful RV, show you what this thing's all about. We'll even close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the new 2024 Cedar Creek 371 FL fifth wall here. As you've seen on the floor plan, that was up a second ago. This is a front living room style, rear bathroom setup, kind of a couple's coach basically. So starting up here in the front of the RV, we have two opposing sofas here. These two sofas will flip out, make into beds, so you could sleep for guests here. You have an electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater right there. The TV right here is on a televator, so it will actually drop down. Back in behind there is basically a windshield. So over here you have a little button, retract it down. Now hopefully wherever you're at, you're going to have a nice view instead of my garage door on the outside, if we can even see it in the dark out there. Um, but basically you got a nice windshield in the front of the RV that you've seen, and that is your view, hopefully, a good view. The windows in these slides up here in this area do open. They're currently using day and night roller shades. So you do have a little bit nicer setup here as far as your blinds. Theater seat right there facing your TV, so you can kick back and recline. That is a power theater seat, has USB charger port in the arm as well. A little bit of storage in the middle also. This unit was ordered with two ducted Coleman ACs. Now you can, depending on how you want to order it, you can order some of these RVs with three. Um, there are quite a few options you can pick and choose from when ordering one of these things from Couches RV Nation. So talk with your salesperson about that for sure. A couple different furniture colors, some different uh, exterior paint jobs are possibly available if you want to spend the extra money for something like that. Uh, so quite a few things to discuss. There is a Bluetooth speaker right up here as well. That window over there by the theater seat also opens. There is electric outlet right here. You have a motion light down here, some soft touch uh, light switch buttons there as well. The ones with the up and down arrows do have dimmers on them. Down here into the kitchen area right here, you got a nice little island here, solid surface countertops. Little flip down counter extension right there as well. Nice little LED lighting down there. High rise spring sprayer faucet. You have the large Furion refrigerator right there. Some storage up above as well. Big Furion microwave. Quite a bit of storage around that area. There is the Furion oven. And they even do Built-in trash can here, a little place for maybe some uh, trash bags or something. Soft close drawer guides. Full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. Again, soft close. And same thing with your cabinet hinges here. These uh, have the little magnetic catches and also soft close. Over here, a little bit of a spice rack maybe up here. A paper towel holder there. Now they do kind of a little two-tone cabinet set up there, so you got a little bit different coloring over here, a little darker look, kind of breaking up some of the white. There is the little vacuum that comes with it as well. Over here, you got electric outlet, USB charger port. You're going to have kind of the brain control of a lot of things on the RV. We'll go over that at the end when we come back in to close it up. Looking up top there, you do have a large turbo exhaust fan, some nice hang down pendant lighting. 
some drawers and storage built in to the island area here as well. Now your dining area over here, there is a extension down here, also a drawer. So you have a drawer plus an extension that will come out. Couple traditional freestanding chairs there. And then you have kind of a little ottoman bench area here with storage. So you can use that either way. Those windows in that slide do open. Those are deep tent safety glass windows. And you can also order it with dual pane windows if you are gonna be more of an extended stay or full timer type of customer. Now right here, you do have a little half bath. So if you have guests, they can use this bathroom Porcelain foot flush toilet, nice little sink area there. But they don't have to go through your bedroom. I would imagine most people would probably use that more for an emergency situation versus using the big bathroom back here when we get back there. So here we have charge controller for the solar panel that's on here. Comes standard with a 200 watt solar panel. You can opt in for more solar as well as they do have a few solar packages. Electric box with the breakers and fuses down here. Quite a bit of storage space up here as well. Now this one, the customer ordered it with carpet. So you can do carpet in their bedroom. They'll also even do carpet in a living room for you if you're a person that likes carpet. Normally, um, linoleum is the standard. Carpet, this rebond carpet padding is an option. So you can kind of pick and choose again when ordering it if you want that type of stuff. Step back here a little bit so you can see this a little better. Got your TV right there. Little dresser down below, hanging closet. Some shelf space. These little things right here are sensors for the air conditioner so that it knows the temperature, what's going on. Kind of the same thing over here, just like on the other side. check out this bathroom here in a second but spinning on around here looking at our bed area so there's a sliding door over there to block that off for privacy the second ducted coleman ac right here this one was also ordered with a little fan or a little uh, heater over there that is a, a cadet electric wall heater there is a little shelf above your windows. Those windows open, USB charger ports there, and you have electric outlets on both sides of the bed as well. And this bed will raise up. And there is also, I think I forgot to turn the other side on. There's a motion light down here, and there's a little bit of side storage there as well. Back here into the bathroom area here. Large turbo exhaust fan up there. Big mirrors, dual vanity set up. You got six drawers, some storage space there. That porcelain foot flush toilet. Linoleum back in this section. Going over here, we have our shower area. One piece molded fiberglass shower. You got a big skylight up above. Has that little bit fancier shower bar. Little sprayer set up there. The window in this bathroom also opens. Now here you have another large closet or a washer dryer area. So you can do a stackable washer dryer or a combo washer dryer. If you do the combo washer dryer, I would definitely recommend a vented version and not the ventless. Uh, it does tell you right over here, there's a little sticker there telling you where you should put the vent hole. Um, 
The ventless ones just take a very long time to dry, unfortunately. But a lot of people that do go with the combo do it more so they could just have the extra hanging space above it or storage space above it. If you do the stackable, you can maybe wash and dry at the same time, depending on the electric service at your campground and be able to get things done a little faster. All right, now we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV. Then we're gonna come back in, close it up for you. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of this brand new 2024 Cedar Creek 371 FL fifth wheel here. We're gonna start here in the door side, kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have kind of a eggshell fiberglass exterior color with a little bit of vinyl decals and a little bit of paint on the fiberglass front cap. They do offer a few different exterior paint colors that you can choose from for an extra fee, obviously. Um, but they do offer a couple different paint jobs if you prefer to upgrade to an exterior paint. Now this one was ordered with slide out awning covers. So you can kind of see up there on top of that slide it has an awning that rolls in and out with the slide helps repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, shades the top of the room. So really something to consider when ordering your new RV. The unit comes with a six point hydraulic leveling jack system. So you have two jacks in the front, two in front of your axles and two behind your axles. You'll see when we get back there. But when you get into a big unit like this, heavy unit, it is nice to have the hydraulic stuff instead of the less expensive electric. Right there, you're gonna have a gas line hookup as well. So you could plug on a little portable grill or something out here. Little pet friendly leash latch holder there. You have two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator here. You have a cold water spray port here as well. Now they also have the more ride entry exit step here. And this has the shock assist on it as well. So this step is actually real easy to put up and down. You can see it practically, it's just holding itself there. So when you are flipping it in and out, it's nice and easy to do. It has little quick buttons here to adjust the legs in and out as well. They're also using the nicer, heavier duty, more ride entry exit step there, or not step, but handle there as well. So it's a nice little combo package there. Traditional RV entry door and screen door. Their door, however, does have a little peephole in it instead of an actual big window or no window, which some brands do. You got a traditional porch light up there. This one was ordered with a four camera system on the outside. So there's a camera right there above your door looking down. It has one on each side of the front looking down the sides and one on the back. Um, so that's something else you might also consider. It's nice to be able to see what's going on around your RV when you're traveling around. But some people will even take that uh, little monitor inside, get a electric adapter you can order off of their website, plug it in and kind of use it as kind of like an inside screen to basically see what's going on when you're even at the campsite. This has two power awnings on it. LED light strips built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, manual override in the front arm heads. But that is a whole lot of awning length there covering almost the whole side of the RV. They're doing the frameless look window on the outside here. And again, you can order those with dual pane windows if you prefer. Now right there is a large running light or midship turn signal. Another nice little safety feature that they do. They put a turn signal up here on the side so that people know when you're trying to get over, even if they're not completely behind you. Uh, we'll go over tire size when we get over to the other side, but you have aluminum wheels, uh, drum brakes, does have the upgraded road armor center, uh, suspension upgrade, which is kind of like shock absorbers on there. And again, it has a tire pressure monitoring system with a screen that comes with it that you can put into your truck and basically know what's going on with your tires while you're driving down the road. You have electric outlet here and a cable outlet in case you wanted to set a TV out here. Now here we have a lot of storage going all the way across through here. 
Motion lights in here as well. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing up there as well. That's another thing sometimes I forget to mention doing these videos on this Cedar Creek stuff. This is an all aluminum studded cage. So you have aluminum studs in your sidewalls, your floor, and your roof, where a lot of brands cheapen up in the roof or floor sometimes and go with wood. But this is a hung fiberglass exterior. It's not a glued together laminated product. This is more of a hand built style setup. Definitely watch their construction video. It will explain a lot for you and kind of tell you why they do it that way. You do have spare tire mounted underneath, a nice sectionalized enclosed underbelly so it's easier to work on than those big one piece underbellies. Now on the back side here, we have a traditional flat back rear end. It does have a lot of storage back here in this section as well. Big baggage door flipping up there. More motion lights back here. You can see up top there in the center, that rear camera that was ordered on this one. Also the prepping for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder up there as well. That's a nice telescoping ladder that you can buy and basically get up and down on and off the roof a little bit easier when you need to get up here and actually inspect and check things out. So up here on the roof, there's a lot of stuff up here. So you can see these slide toppers from up here as well, but way up there, front air conditioner, TV antenna, you have roof vents. There is a solar panel right there. Second air conditioner, plumbing stack vents, a lot of stuff, attic vent up there, you know, skylight. But it's very important to get up here from time to time and actually inspect and check out your seams and your seals and everything to make sure that everything is nice and watertight. That's very, very important on any RV. Going on back down here to the other side. This one was ordered with a gas and electric water heater. You can get them with on-demand water heaters if you prefer, but I know some of you guys like to use the included electric at a campsite instead of your own propane. Black tank flush right here, furnace exhaust out right here. The other side of the big storage compartment and right there, you're gonna have one of your dumps, black stuff coming out here, it says. And then just up underneath of there, you can kind of see it a little better. You got a gray handle as well. So there's three handles right here. Detachable, 50 amp power cord. Stove exhaust vent up there. There is Looks like some more low point water drains down here for your ice maker right up there. There's an on off valve for that. There's another gray handle here, dump hose holder as well, and fresh water tank drain just up there also. Now over here, we're gonna have our docking station area. You got a swing door instead of a flip up door, a little bit thicker baggage door, metal slam lock. Battery disconnect, motion light, individual on-offs right here for those hydraulic rooms. So you can turn those on and off individually. Front cap light switch, outside utility shower, cable inlets, directional valves for where you want your water to go. Second black tank flush, city water inlet or water inlet in general because you're going to direct it with those. And then hot and cold low point water drains right here. Battery compartment right here powered power cord reel right there. And then there's some storage space as well. Hydraulic pump reservoir. Right here is gonna be your jack controls. So when you get it, it's gonna have a little generic code. I would recommend changing this because some people watching these videos could mess with your stuff at a campground. 
but you can come in here, extend, retract, auto level, auto hitch, so it'll do quite a few different things. Now down here, you're gonna have some very important informational stickers. So let's start here. This is our unloaded vehicle weight sticker. It tells us the RV was 14,278 pounds when it rolled off the assembly line with an exterior length of 41 feet, 11 inches. Tire size, ST23585R16G range tires with 110 PSI cold. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure. This one right here tells us our gross vehicle weight, 16,615 pounds. So very important not to exceed that number. That's your axle weight, your hitch weight, everything combined. Again, do not exceed that number. Very nice setup here. And then on the front, that cap is kind of bubbled out, trying to make it a little more aerodynamic than the old style flat fronts, but you know, there's still wind drags on everything. You do have multiple LED lights there and that windshield up there as well. Now, hitch pin wise, you do have the Rhino pin box. If you're gonna upgrade this to a Kurt Air Ride or a Moore Ride or even a Reese Goose Box or something, you have to make sure it bolts up to the Rhino Box bolt pattern. That's very, very important. And then you can see that side camera right there. All right, now we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what it looks like all closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the new 2024 Cedar Creek 371 FL. And I just wanted to show you what it looked like closed up. So I've kind of cheated a little bit, went ahead and closed up most of the slides for us. So coming on back here to the bedroom area, you can see what it looks like. Bed is all the way in. So I would have to climb over my bed to get to my bathroom if I was going to leave this bed closed. with the kitchen slide closed. Maybe a skinny, skinny person could squeeze through there. Going up to the front, we got our two electric slides here closed. I could squeeze around the edge of the uh, sofa here and go up to the front if I needed to. So those upstairs two slides are electric. These three back here are hydraulic. And when you are ready to open and close things up, you're gonna come here to your Firefly system. So your home screen on here has some things as far as monitor panel, battery condition, 12 volt uh, heated holding tanks, water pump. You got a manual override here for your water heater system on gas, a master light switch, one of your air conditioners. Going on in, I have a bunch of light switches here. The ones with the up and down arrows are dimmable switches. On over to the HVAC. This one was ordered with two air conditioners. You can order it with three. You can also order it with heat pumps on there if you wanted. But we got two ACs and the furnace here. Next, we're going into our slides. So here we have a couple awnings. So we got a rear awning and a front awning, extend and retract. We have our two electric slides, electric slide one and two. Then we have one button for the hydraulic slides. Now you can manually turn them on and off out in that docking station area. But bringing this thing in, just so you kind of see this here, it moves fairly quickly. Very important to make sure your slide floor is clean so you don't accidentally damage something. There is practically no room to squeeze through here. You'd have to climb over your counter to really get back over there. But even doing that, you're not getting back to the bedroom with it closed. You can see it is a very tight fit. Very important to make sure your counter extension's down and your table extension is closed up as well. 
Then when you are ready to go back out, you just hit the extend button. Let's see here which one's going to move. Looks like we got a combination right now of the kitchen and the bedroom going out. These being hydraulic slides, the fluid kind of goes the path of least resistance. So typically the lighter slide moves first. But as you can see, only taking a few seconds here to open up all three slides. Pretty quick and easy. Now, you can again go outside and turn them on and off individually if you want. So you don't have to open them all up. And going right back up here to our electric slides here, pushing the button. These go right on in and out pretty quickly. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV video. Greatly appreciated. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind helping out my channel. And as always, please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They will definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV. They actually finished number one in RV sales for 2023. So kudos to them for doing that. Thanks again.